All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode fifty-one. We had to take a little bit of a break because circumstances. That, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it circumstances. No, real life got in the way. That's circumstances. Back. Anyway, where we last left off, we finished up the tournament of bronze, which, long story short, resulted in Manic being named the victor. After some pretty close fights, uh, the final round just came to, I feel one side had a harder harder bracket. They had no that's resources. But that's how it, how it shook out. It was not intentional on my part. I ended up playing some, uh, some matchups that I didn't realize heavily favored Manic Panic. But there were still fun fights. Oh, I, need to I was about to say, it, it was a lot of fun. It wouldn't really change anything. It was great. Oh, yeah, it was great. Definitely I could just not. placed in the fact that Manic has luck. It's true. Uh, boom. Let's be real. If, it, if I'm not... If I wasn't actually lucky, Manic would have probably been that dead a while back. Uh, Gaijin does not have an image. You deleted him? Oh, well. No, it's Don. here. It's here. Reduced atoms. It is, again, here. It's just... Oh yeah, he's not on. I'm stupid. It only shows up when they're on. We do not have... Oh, you're talking Gaijin about the bottom left. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't have uh, Gaijin in the chat, so it's not showing up. But you're talking about stupid. the token. <laughs> yeah, I'm just stupid. Anyway. Also, sound check is good. Yeah, wrapping oh, up the okay. tournament. Uh, they've already received their prize money. Uh, Y'all are free to. Nah, don't take a long rest yet. Don't take a long rest yet. Uh, I'm gonna set. Uh, Y'all are free to. Why did that pop out like that? Hmm? Hold on, I gotta refresh. What happened? Sorry, roll 20 went weird. Uh, uh, sometimes it do that. Is there anywhere y'all wanted to go right after the tournament, or what are y'all trying to do right now? Are y'all heading right back to Trash's office? I'd probably at least try to see the family real quick. Alright, uh, I'm gonna say y'all are not like in the stadium, but I don't have like an interior map for this. So I'm gonna move y'all oh, back. that's fine. Y'all just mingling with the crowds. I didn't know if they had like an exit ceremony or something. I forgot, about the, I forgot about the last winner's turn of, it, of iron. <laughs> Meanwhile, while that's going on, Manic. Manic's just kind of being swarmed. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Manic, if you need help, just shout out. I'll jump down there and run grab you. And cheers. Anyway, anything in particular you want to say to your parents or what, what we... <laughs> I just imagine Shin comes like kind of limping up, but he's still just got the biggest dumb smile on his face. And he's like, ah, almost got him. Tosho's like, yeah, you were you were doing well till you got knocked on your ass. Well, yeah, but did, did you see my throwing axe hits? He just kind of nods like, yeah, yeah. Too bad you really couldn't hit with your damn weapon. <sighs> Look, I've lost a lot of blood today. A lot of it's been replaced, though. But mm -hmm. then it just kind of got spilled again. So Twice, what you're saying I... is I should push you down the stairs. You probably good right now. Please don't. And he goes, kind of coughs up a little more blood. Just gonna inch over closer. Please don't off the eye. <laughs> hey, look, you've never been punched as hard as you can by a cold one like that. Or a curb one like that. He's so little. You're a cobalt, man. <laughs> he does not matter that he is little, okay? I, I do Stature does not make the person. Mm -hmm. Is kobold with that? Would I know if that is an offensive term? Let's say, Kerborns. That, that uh, was an above game slip. 
I've been watching a lot of. Uh, it's uh, not. It's not know. considered. It's not considered offensive. Okay. I mean, they're half cobalt, usually. Let's say the the dumbest player in the party made a slight slip when he's on one HP after losing a lot of blood and getting punched in the face a lot. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean usually? I mean, I'm sure two, some people use it as an insult. Two Kerborn can make another Kerborn. Yeah, I mean, oh, I oh, imagine yeah, it yeah. would be like calling someone who just speaks Spanish Mexican. No, no, it's not quite like that. Got it. Yeah. I mean, um, I, maybe some would get offended by it, but generally most would just be like, yeah, Kerborn. Kerborn. Like, if you're doing it intentionally... As an insult, then they might, but you know, like as a slip, yeah, just okay. be like, eh. that makes more sense. Uh, your dad's just kind of looking at you, is like, you know what you should have done, right? Dodged. You should have dodged, but also, you gotta go for the, you gotta go for the ones you can sometimes. I know. I just, I don't get to fight Mac that often, and I really wanted to know how strong he was. Yeah, you have it, you know. Strategy. He's gonna look at twice. He's like, I don't even know what to tell you. I tried, man. I tried. That was. Heck of a fighter. Heck of a fighter you raised. It's like, it's it's like, like... I, I know, Dad. I should have just stepped. There you know, Got Actually, right behind him think... and suplexed him into the ground. I may not have done any damage that whole match. <laughs> I'll have to replay. I'm no, I think you got no. You, no, you fucked up Gaijin like round yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, whatever you did initially fucked up Gaijin, and then we tried to play defensive after that, if I remember right. That cast a spell. You hit him with. Oh, uh, I got uh, you with hold person. I got I got Shin with hold person. That's what put him on the ropes. Yeah. Oh yeah. He learned from Maxwell. Oh, person, and then I just casually approached and. Crit, oh yeah, crit, and then you crit. JoJo's walked at me. <laughs> I just imagine you were like held in like a JoJo pose too. Just twice made his magic pose me like Dio, and he's just JoJo watching, walking up to me. Crowd's going crazy for Manic right now too. Manic's getting yeah. uncomfortable. He wants to say hard for this. You like being thrown into the air. Shin's looking around like, uh, guy, twice should 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 I go get him? Help. <laughs> no, let him bask. Let him bask in the glory. Uh, Shin uses thaumaturgy and just shouts, Manic, you need me to come get you? There's a lot of people, so Manic, you would have to make a check to see if you could. What? Thumbs what? up or thumbs down? Yeah, the, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm like standing, like leaning over, <laughs> shouting. <laughs> Tosho's gonna walk up, and you feel him put his hands on your shoulders. He goes, push you forward, and then pull you back. Uh -huh. It's like, save your life. <laughs> it, Shin just does like the anime, like that. arms waving. He's about to fall thing, and then. <sighs> All right, that was fine. Uh, how high up are we? I, for... I think I've passed that, but I forgot. Oh, 15, 15 feet. feet. 15 feet, okay. I look over, he's like, well, if I landed on my head, it probably would kill me. It would have smart. <laughs> Minus one intellect permanently. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's gonna cause problems. <laughs> anyway, the crowd does start to die down after a while. Manic, you sign some autographs. They eventually do leave you alone. You're able to rejoin the party. Anyone thing? Anyone else y'all want to talk to in here? Crowd's thinning out too, which I am not actually going to do because I'm going to use this map again later. That's fine. Uh, has Tarash left? Uh, yes. Uh, I will say before the, he, he left, he did come by and tell you to come to his office whenever you want. Gotcha. We will fill Manic in on that. Uh, can I look around? I'm going to look around the stadium see if there's anybody I recognize left. Uh, left? No, I think most of the major people. You don't have to delete anybody. It's just... Oh, no. I'm just doing that for me because they may not be here for next time. I'm also gonna delete 
uh, Shin's family. Oh no! God. That was what I was worried about in the first arc. They say they're gonna go home. The last train leaves pretty soon. This was just a little vacation. Glad they got to see you. They got the tickets for free, so it just happened to work out for them. Oh, how'd you get the tickets for free? Uh, someone traded them. Nice. Well, it was great to see y'all. Shin gives everybody big hugs and everything. So make sure to tell your and grandma. It, thanks. Uh, and before he goes, you know, Shin gives his dad like the sticks his hand out for the warrior thing. Like the, the man handshake. Yeah. Your, your dad copies. And he's like... So, uh, before he leaves, though, your dad says, I'll see you soon. Real soon, dad. And they just kind of nod and leave. Uh... Yeah, anyone else? Um, I think Manic's done seeing people for the day. <laughs> Tosho's going like, well, I'm going to go too. I don't, not, not going back to Ross's shawl, but I yeah, got to get back oh, to Oh, where are you going next? Here. I work. Banneret. Oh, you're stationed here. For now, yes. Oh, that's awesome. I can book you anytime I'm here. Good to know. Yeah, it looks like, how often are you in Arthal? As often as I need to be to annoy you. Now and a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it kind of looks like, oh lord. All right, yeah, just Give don't the... don't make me have to like arrest you. You He's couldn't arrest me if you tried. Ah. Uh... He looks at you as you're like at one HP, no aura. It's like I feel like I could, but any Please other don't. time, any other time. <laughs> Please don't. Listen, I need I've them. been, I've been on the run for a while now. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. We got new handcuffs that adjust to size and are magic proof. I've fled cops for a living. That's awesome. Don't tell him. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that was in Nascana. If you get arrested, that's I'm it. That's in Nascana. I'm still dressed as manic. <laughs> no, you lost that when you got. You got. You lost that. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, I, I shall just say, you know. See you, man. We'll get dinner next time we're around. And uh, you owe me another arm wrestling match. <laughs> he just laughs as he leaves. Uh, but yeah, he, he does know Twice is from Nascana. And y'all did okay. tell him a lot of Twice's story out of the blue. You mean Shin did? Yeah. Yeah. That happens. I was, I was a wanted criminal, and now I'm just a criminal out in the open. That's only in, oh. You're only wanted in Nascana. Yeah. And given current situations, I don't think anyone's going to extradite you at the moment. <laughs> They're just gonna... I, I do want to say while we were waiting um, for Manic to get back up there, Shin would have told everyone the story about the uh, giant crocodile and the sanguins. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, and show him the trident and everything. I mean, that's not you threw the trident. Yeah, I know they already seen it, but I was like telling them all about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely uh, got got some looks. They're just kind of like, uh, are you what? Yeah, I almost got eaten by a crocodile. But I you knew that thing was coming. Happy. Partially. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting gnawed on. He just, they just kind of chewed on him for a little bit. Came at you. How's it feel to be a croc chewed away? Uh, it, it did not feel great. Uh, not, <laughs> one out of ten do not recommend just the thought of Shin just in his mouth ah. yeah they just cuts the ragdoll shit you hit somebody with that trident too during the tournament through it yeah I almost got the landing blow but the blood stack took her out alright so now what would y'all like to do y'all are free to move about the town What time is it currently? Uh, tournament started, uh, so it's probably around four or five ish. Here's the thing, guys. The boys in a real in an RP world, we would go celebrate our victories. Oh yeah, but Teresh did ask us specifically to come see him whenever we left. Yeah, there's that, and also the fact that I would like to push a little story today. <laughs> <laughs> Because we can drink with the boys for hours. <laughs> that is true. 
Yeah, as we've proven, we can bullshit for it. We can do it for Ever. hours. <laughs> we can so, do both, yeah. but... <laughs> True. We're going to hey, trash. Yeah. Everybody cool with that? Go ahead and straight to trash. Yeah, head yeah. straight to trash, see what Singe is up to. I'm cool. Did you say Singed? Yeah, said, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Racist. Alright, so... To be fair... I won't say it. You all go through the front desk like you, you know, let you in. She recognizes you by now. Shows you in Tarash's office. And walking in, you see Cole sitting at the meeting table. Tarash at his desk. D1 standing. And you see the guild master and one of the headmasters standing in front of you. Oh, hang on. It's like a slight bow. Shint's waving as he walks in and sees him. Uh, headmaster, uh, headmaster Targets will be like, Good fight, good fight, lads, good fight. Thank you. Honestly, I give him a thumbs up. Didn't expect to see you guys in the tournament, but uh, I'm glad you, you entered the last minute. Guess we have Tarash to thank for that. Makes the hunters look good. Hi. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tarash. He goes, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. No mister. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, guild master trash. Thank you, Mrs. Trash. Thank you, Mrs. Trash. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I, right. I, I guess I asked for that. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you're wondering why, uh, tar this is Targus. Tar tar I'm sure you're wondering why we're here. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna ask, but... I've what? been confused about a lot of stuff today, and this is one of them. Mm. It's like the least confusing part of the day. <laughs> and the guild master's going to stand up and say, like, Well, we were told that you were all were doing a little favor for the Adventurer's Guild, correct? Aye, sir. Yes. That's Do I all. think mm. I need to lie about this? Rolling inside. I mean, they already said yes, but... I was about to say, Shin just answers. <laughs> Do I feel like I'm going to get in trouble? There is an I mean, air... There doesn't... He has an air of authority to him. Okay. I'm just going to oh. not answer the question. Silences. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Um, anyway, he goes... After that, he's like, that's all well and good, but uh, you're not classified to, for leaving the mainland of Artal yet. And I'm told oh, he's wanting he's wanting you to go to the uh, Natili, correct? Yeah, didn't we already do that? No, the hold on. Oh, this this is the next one. Do do. Cause Trash mentioned well the thing in uh, Chris's tomb pointed to here, and Trash said he had information for that. That's why y'all were doing the thing with coal for trash. Uh, see, so, sorry, I thought thought we went to the mainland, or I thought we went off the mainland. Oh, uh, I thought he was getting mad at us because yeah. we left from our tower and went, <laughs> went Yeah, there. but this is the mainland, that makes sense, okay. I was so confused. Does that make more sense now? Yeah. Uh, I just, I thought uh, we were I on a was getting... boat, so we like, Yeah, we I thought it was somewhere. like, technicality, we left the mainland, so he's pissed at us because we did that. It's like, which is... As you know, as uh, guild members, you are not allowed to do until you are ranked D hunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. We're yes. E. That is correct. But in lieu of, some, of the Maxwell incident and winning the tournament, we have a proposition for you all. Sir? Since you are all heading towards the area anyway, we have one of two missions available for you that we can sort of use as a technicality. Complete them and you can rank up to D. And do whatever it is for the Adventurers Guild that Tarash wanted you to do. I'm going to raise my hand. It's like yes. Um, both of them or just choose one? Choose one. Well, we got two requests for the same thing. Okay. Two different uh, towns asked. I understand. Yeah. Each has pros and cons. I don't know how much you guys know about Natili. 
You can't, then he kind of looks over at all of you and is like, I assume not very much. Anybody from the tea league? Don't the druids come from there? Nope. I know the magic institute's there. No, that's the Central Isles. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know shit then. I don't know shit about this place. I read some books, but I haven't read one about the tea league. Uh, there are a lot of druids. Uh, actually, everyone go ahead and roll me a history check. I'm gonna assume guy doesn't know shit. Am I, oh shit, 16. Am I wrong, or is that not what the the supposed archer had told us? You'll see. Or did we learn that from somewhere else? I'm trying to remember about the conversations we had with him. Alright, so 13, 17, 16. Alright, so with a 13 manic, you would know the basics, like, it's a lot of, a lot of druids there. Never been there yourself, really, except for that time y'all went. But y'all were like just barely in. Y'all were in the most Artal city <laughs> in the in the Tilly. Um, wait, 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 wait! I thought we're not allowed to go. If, okay, if they. We already went to Natili, right? Natili is on the main. Is on Natili is in the main. Okay, okay back to. Okay, okay, okay. I got map. confused. Never mind. No, that's cool. I'll go back to the map just so everyone's clear. Alright, where y'all are going currently is here. This is the island of Tali. So this okay. is... That's Natili. This is part of okay. Natili, but it's off mainland. Okay. okay, gotcha. Anyway. Sorry, geography's not my strong suit. It's fine. It's like so. We have... I assume we're gonna take the... The, the request, yes. I mean, you don't want to get reprimanded, and I assume you're going to continue pursuing this trash thing, right? It's not like we have a choice in the matter. Kind of cocks an <laughs> eyebrow. It's like, <laughs> then he looks over at trash. He's like, what exactly are they doing for you? Trash just kind of like looks back at you guys and looks at him. He's like, got a poker felt on. Let me let me roll some caps and rolls here. <laughs> It's just like, he has a stick man just slant. Just He's kind of doing the Saitama okay face. <laughs> and then Guildmaster looks back at you all and is like, what is he, what are you doing for, what's he, like, what's going on? Like, I grab my notebook. What? Uh, going after a tomb. They are in a tomb. Or is that what oh, you're telling him? Or is that what you're oh, telling him? Wait, I'm sorry, did you ask us what we did for him, or what we're doing? What we're him? currently doing for like, him. Like, what's the relationship here? Oh, well, um... We got that guy, we captured that guy, and he had an artifact. We didn't so we capture him, that. we asked him to follow Bone. Same we... thing, it's just a different way of capturing. Mm -hmm. D1's okay. gonna turn and look at Cole and be like, You're, you can leave whenever you want, you are not captured. <laughs> Thank you, D1. Catch and release. It's a fishing term. Shin knows. <laughs> My is right. It is a fishing term. No, Manic, he's right. It is a fishing term. No, no, no. Like, no you're making us seem like we're human traffickers. No. Uh, in the background, you can just hear Trash go, I miss car jelly. <laughs> in, all <te> in all technicality, <laughs> we smuggled him. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> the guild master just kind of looking at you all, like, "All right, but what? Right, okay, you had an artifact. I get that, but like, why are you why are you doing errands for the adventurers?" Okay, you know the wise men situation that happened. Yes, it has to pertain to that. That was two hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah but, but now they have a boat, and they're giving us that boat. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we might get a magic carpet instead. Oh, okay, hold on, time out. <laughs> At this point, uh, Targus is laughing his ass off. <laughs> Cause mass confusion. <laughs> uh, Griswold's not as amused, but Targus is laughing. Tarash is trying his damnedest to hold a poker face. That's not an issue for <laughs> He's Tarash. trying to laugh or what? <laughs> He's trying not oh, to laugh. Shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm in a silly, goofy mood. Continue, Manic. I'll stop interrupting. 
Uh, okay, so our first task for him was to negotiate with Cole, which we found out. Mm -hmm. Brought him back. Uh, he wants us to investigate some things that Chris has left o over for experimentations. All right. All right. Roll persuasion real quick. And uh, just so I can catch everyone up, one of the reasons y'all needed the boat or the carpet is because ships aren't exactly leap, like, easy to come by, going to where y'all are going. I'm just, I'm just basically telling the truth. Uh, so we can't sell it. Well, I wouldn't. No, your persuasion was mostly to see how well you told the story. Um, you're just kind of like, uh-huh. And Trash is just like, yep, yep, yep. Just, just checking up on some leads for me. Because I can't operate in full, out in the open, and, you know, hunters are good. This is respect to the Hunter's Guild. Like, he's just rambling. You tell Tarash is not like these situations. Not social situations, but like, official situations. Sounds like paperwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, Griswold's gonna roll his eyes. Anyway, he's gonna look at Tarkus and like, kind of punch him. He's like, anyway, he's like, oh yes, yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, anyway, looks like we have. Where are they? Oh yeah, pull them up. Hold on. One moment. Man has fireballs in all of this. Right. Everyone rolled a very important deck save. Uh, we have one for Yule Point and one for Blue Shore. Yes, we know where those places are. I do like the color blue. I mean, they're both on the island. Uh, let's see. Blue it's not Shore the one. is the, the south same? end of the... Blue Shore is the south end, and then Yule Point is the northeast end. Yep, yep. I'll put it on the big map. Was he right? Yep, Blue yeah, Shore is I'm here. Correct. If you open up your uh, guys who has left us some things in our journal, if you open up the major town cities and zoom in, you can. Yep, yep. That is your point, and that is Blue Shore. He was correct. Mm. I wish that I had not forgotten about this, because this has been in our inventory the entire time. Yep, as is a railway map, a uh, climate map, an individual RTAL map, a uh, territory map, institute symbol, a lot of things. <laughs> all your previous things, all your previous tasks too. But anyway, uh, they're both the same request. Uh, it's an extermination request on both parts. It's just honestly which town you'd want to rather go to. They both have pros and cons. One's closer than the other, but they're kind of annoying to deal with. How so? Uh, well, your point is... It's another furball, but it's kind of old school. He never really accepted, uh, he's never, he hasn't fully accepted the Hunters. I mean, he's been an arch druid for like 130 years. Uh, so if we go to Blue Shore, we'd be more quote-unquote accept accepted. Yeah, but Blue Shore also runs the problem is they, they, they like to party hardy. Well, your point does too. Your point like to party hardy as well, but Blue Shore gets a lot of tourism, so you'll show up, they'll probably think you're after the blue tea, they have to deal with that, so. Like, pros and cons to like both. Music? I mean, they're not, it's Natili. They party. They party hardy. Your point's the partiest. Flash I mean, have have I ever played a show? Oh there. shit, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I had that backwards. Your point's problem is the Furbolg Arch Druid is too lenient, like he's too chilled. And Blue Shore like, is the hardest. Yes. Krabul Forestborn. Forest what? Forest born. Okay. Can you put that in dwarf? chat? Yeah, hold on. I mean, it doesn't matter unless y'all are going to Blue Shore. Fair enough, but I'd like to have 
You said this is an extermination, so it's a cluster. Yes. Extermination slash termination. Like there's a main target, but there's a nest. When you do one, you're gonna have to do both. You know. Uh, what if there's another pool? Hmm. Oh, another pool. Uh, just report it. That's all you really can do. Wait, you said extermination and termination? Kinda. Well, like, it's a nest, but, like, there's a main target, but, like, if you do one, you're gonna have to do both, you know? But the termination is when we're hunting another hunter. Oh, that's right. Uh. So, probably. Oh, Ex search and destroy. Extermination. extermination, search and destroy. Got it. Yeah. Just, well, just extermination. Anyway. Uh, you'll point Party City or Blue Shore Hard Ass? Um. I am interested in Yule Point. Of course you are. Uh, Blue Shore would have one one advantage. Blue Shore would have is uh, better stock of items because more people come through there. Uh, Yule Point is closer. <clears throat> really? Uh, what is no, the like, Blue Point? Blue Shore would be closer. Oh, yeah, how shit. could it possibly be closer? We've got a guy in roll twenty. Because where you're going is in the forest around the uh, thing uh, mm. over here. What is the uh, like distance that it cuts? Uh, about, 50 like... mi about fifty miles. Okay, so it cuts like they a day, pay... a day too. Is it equal pay? Yeah, same pay for each, either one. And. So this, you said that if we fulfill one, we're fulfilling the other. Is that correct or no? Well, I was meaning more so like, and the like, it being an extermination. Okay. I saw it. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Can we read the contracts or not, or are we just picking a place? Just pick. It's the same one. Oh, okay. He's basically saying it's the same quest, same same end goal. It's just what's the starting point? Yep. And who are we returning money to? Do we get? Yeah, I mean, okay, I understand. We cannot take both of them. I was no, we cannot. We could, I thought we could get double paid on. This. No, 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 no. Well, like two <coughs> goes one, two goes the other. We yeah, like an Uber driver them. getting a ride from himself. <laughs> like... <laughs> no, no, can't do that. Uh, we just need to know who to return money to. Uh, if it makes any difference, it's to just exterminate and never more. Now that guy is here. Could we discuss it above game real quick? Sure. Y'all need to take a quick five for and discuss. Um, Bring him up to speed. If you guys um, need to take a quick five, yes, I'll wait. I'm to get my headphones working. All good. Uh, if y'all want to take a break real quick, I'll wait on him and fill him in. All right. That's like good uh, since he just joined. Pog champion. Let's leave the music going and I'll be RV. But Blue Shore has better better shops. Yeah, Blue Shore has better items. So my proposal is to just go ahead and do shopping while we're here, and then leave for your point. Mm -hmm. But that is up to everybody. Uh, oh, uh yeah. Since yeah, you're now back, that you're back, what's mm -hmm. the oh, time limit for each one? Uh, yeah, what's the wording on both the contracts? Fourteen days. Fourteen days for both. They're basically the same exact contract. They're the same contract. Start point. Okay. Okay. We were just we we were worried that. One I mean, came with like the downside of like a, a day or two later. So yeah, my vote is Yule Point. I don't care what everybody else wants to do. I'm interested in doing either one because it's the same mission, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm kind of so. Though. Question about the off continent thing. You said that Brad wanted to send us off continent. Well, where did he want to send us? To the to, island or to the north? You you can't go the off the main place we're going. We can't go off the it's main. It's still land. part of that area, but it's an island by itself. We so, as class okay, got it. Because it yeah, looked ranky. like two, looked like one village. Well, I mean one country, but that makes sense. It is, but they're technically off mainland. We can't go there for you know contract purposes. As yes. Ranky. Yep. Has anybody no, noticed that, that the main okay. continent is shaped like half of a dragonborn's face? That is not intentional, but is it? <laughs> All right, add well, it to I'll the list. It. <laughs> add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> like he's screaming to the like the sky. Yeah. Oh, guys, we got to get on Baldur's Gate soon. If there's crossplay, we should definitely do that. There is no. Okay, cross guys, you said there's not crossplay, unfortunately. 
But I'll get a yeah, PS5 well. just to play with you because <laughs> I fucking love this game. I love that. Jared, game. I I have another controller, so if you come whenever you come down this weekend, <laughs> if we Fuck don't have yeah. time, like we can play some. But um, I'm I'm about to start a playthrough with Haley too. Enjoy, she's gonna man. love it. Enjoy. She, she's she's interested in it. She she loves all the smutty stuff, and I said, yeah, this game's super horny. Are so you gonna get she's, jealous she's when she fucks the Sari in uh, front of you? Ish ish. No. You gotta get uh, <laughs> you gotta get Olivio's underwear and put on Gale. It's a must. Lazel. Lazel, yes. Yeah. I suck with names. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, put put Lazel's underwear on Gale. Yeah. Yes. You can thank us later. Why? And then just take just, Shadow just Heart's underwear and keep it. <laughs> no, see, he <laughs> can, in our playthrough, Jabo took Shadow Heart's underwear and gave it to me, and I just put it. I sent it to camp, so it's just in my chest. So every time I go and open my chest, because I forget, I'm like, oh yeah, so I have Shadow Heart's <laughs> underwear. That's funny. <laughs> Humanity received a deadly reminder. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to keep that. You're gonna want to keep. Anyway, have they caught you up to everything, I did? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Um, long story short, Crash would send us off mainland. Um, the hunters said no. No, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Hunter said no until we complete this mission, but the mission's in the place where Taras told us to go, so they said it was basically a twofer. Oh, yeah, they also questioned us on what we've been doing with Tarash, because uh, apparently Tarash hasn't told them yet. The other thing um, is, well, and this is above game, is that we are not going to be able to sell the boat or the, the uh, carpet, carpet, carpet because we need it to get to where we're going. Okay, I have some logistical questions about like the size and shape of this carpet. And also witches brooms, but first I want to know um, about Cole. Have we had any updates about Cole? He's right there. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, have there been any story developments, or has he just been sitting there uh, so far? This whole he's time? just been he's sitting, sitting there. there. No, 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 no. There, there has been a development. He can leave at any time he wants to. Ooh, we did not Shin capture him. We traffic him. <laughs> I've been gaslit into believing that we human trafficked him. So. <laughs> I mean, we, we kind of technically did. No, yeah. don't tell me that. I think it's technically yes, we did do that. He was a willing. Honestly, he was a willing passenger on your boat. So are most prostitutes when they start. Okay, we're whoa, not getting into this. Whoa, let's whoa. let's keep going. Anyway. Well, I mean, nope. I have a Cutting pressing question that doesn't have to deal with that. It's not that dark. Oh, okay. No, no, okay. Right. What's your no. question? Wait, does it have to do with D and D? Yes. In this right now. Trafficking anything to do with willingness like, okay can you be we're willing continuing to with the plot <laughs> god we will turn it over to you i'm, I'm waiting on y'all yeah i don't know back in back in so guy raises his hand yes um what what about magic flying carpet um can guy ride on it all the time Yes, it's just slower than the boat. But I mean, like, if Guy never wanted to get off carpet and just fly around during combat, could Guy do that? It's not very fast, and you could get knocked off of it. Or damaged. Sounds yeah. good to me. I mean, it, no more questions. Okay. No further questions. <laughs> Shin kind of looks down at Guy, and he's like, Guy, we get hit with a lot of fire. I can rise above. Well, That's it's a, a fifth. It's a quote. fifteen by twenty carpet. So, so one stray firebolt and that's gone. Can I draw a square, guys? Here, I'll draw it. It's a three by four square. Mm-hmm. It would be yeah, that big. And if we were to like enlarge or reduce it like if we were to reduce it could we get it down to where it's just guy size <laughs> i mean you would have to make it, it would okay enlarge reduce only affects one size category and it's a concentration and i only have okay. for an hour could get a ring tie it into the fabric mm. <laughs> uh, the carpet only goes uh 40 feet a turn so it's not very fast Guys, hold on. Sorry, I gotta go break up a cat fight.
We did the yeah, whole logistics in the background. of this. We are, I think we did the whole logistics of this. We did. Um, so we know that the boat is like two to three times faster. Yes. So I think for we're getting a little ahead of, ahead of ourselves there. So I think we should probably just do the um, the the scales for that, and then. Okay, it's calling the vote. Um, I mean, I'll call the vote, and we can do. We'll have two votes, I guess, because we would do the when you do Yule Point and Blue Shore. Are you yeah. calling both uh, votes? Yeah. Yeah, double votes. All right. Are you trying to make a case for either one? Um. Yeah, I think we should just go to Yule Point because we can get items here, and then we can leave. Okay. And it sounds way more fun. <laughs> All right. What about container the... kicks ass, boys? <laughs> uh, Man, he's, he's right. He's right, though. Shen, do you have... Okay, so Manic votes for that. Shen, do you have a vote? Because <laughs> to reiterate, Adam, you you did say Artar is like the main hub city, right? Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean Natalia couldn't have its own unique items, but yes. Well, like, Artal itself in the main continent is like one of the high class, the higher end cities. This is where we could probably get the most general items. They yeah. may yes. have better specific yeah. items there. But... Yes. Uh... <laughs> Shin's hand is just like shaking over which one to put it on because he just is having flashbacks to being in that area and knowing what those people are like. Either way, you you have to deal is with it, it. I'm gonna have to look at the ground either way. Uh, yeah, he just tosses it into the old point. All right, so that settles that. So second vote, do you have an uh, argument for whichever one for that twice? I don't. I'm actually going to take the scale to Tarash's desk right here and uh, ask him for a blank piece of paper and a pen. Okay, why? Because um, I would like to do a silent vote on this one. I don't want people getting upset over what... Oh, the, oh are we doing like the, the this survival one is, tribal thing? Yeah, because this one's like actually one that it matters long term because I get like the point mean, things kind of trivial. Shin has an argument for this one. Well, only the person that calls a vote gets to argue. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I don't but they don't. But they don't. Argue. But they get the vote. I mean, but they don't get to vote if uh, they're arguing. Yeah. That, hey, twice, if you want to give it to me for that one, then I'll cast a vote on that one. All right, uh, can well, I do you... that? Yeah, I mean, if you want to say Chen's... Uh... Yeah, because I don't care either way. I just want everybody to be happy. All right, new handout has been added. Quest is called Quote the Raven. Oh my god, never more. And I figure for this, we will just... Uh... DM you on Discord what our choice is. Oh, I can't this is vote it. versus carpet. Yep. Yeah, vote versus carpet, silent vote. You DM your uh, choice. When you say you want everyone to be happy, are you talking about us or our characters? Uh, well, are we voting or our, our characters? Yes. Yes. Uh, see, our, yes. Yes is the answer to that because I know in twice his heart of hearts that he believes that the boat is probably the best decision, but I also know that he's been very greedy. He's been a greedy son of a bitch lately, so he knows that he can sell the carpet for more. Can yeah, I but just, we. If, I just if the problem is, we're gonna have to have the car carpet. One also yeah. one of the major cons is the carpet is destroyable. I mean, the boat is too, but it'd be a lot harder. That and like Adam said, uh, boats are rare to come by. Not rare to come by, I but mean, getting enough money to actually purchase one. That's well, fine. Guys, guys I, I can make a compelling argument if I get to cast the vote. You don't get to vote. If, you make, if you're in charge, if you call the yeah. vote, you don't get to vote. That's fine. I think I can sway all three of them. Okay. Make your arguments. Okay. As, the, as it, you know, finishes up on where to go, Shin kind of goes, oh, that's not going to be fun. But he picks it up and he just. So we're not doing the silent boat, so it's not on Tarash's desk anymore. Correct. 
Okay, yeah. He walks up right here and just kind of sets down and puts it in front of him. And he's like, all right, lads, I know a lot about boats. And boats, we don't use it all the time. It doesn't have to sit idle. There's a lot of people back home. And uh, Tarash, sir, uh, sorry, Guildmaster, I know you're not going to furnish the crew for long. And then I kind of sweep my hand back over. But we could entice them with running their own little ferrying, little transportation of goods. As long as they maintain the boat, keep the coin, kick us back a little bit, passive income. We could keep it in my hometown. And if we're looking for someone to make sure that all this is good, <clears throat> Then I know a guy. Mm. Weiss's understanding of capitalism and unionizing is going crazy right now. <laughs> and I would like to invoke that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you would know a guy in this situation, right. yes. Yep. You know the know a guy feature. How are we going to fund this venture? <laughs> are we going to open up a bunch of coffee shops all around the continent? <laughs> Funny you should mention that. <laughs> Oh, dude. This guy also has coffee on a boat. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, you just, you know, we see it all the time back home. With freelance boats, they just they take up little things. They can transport cargo. They can transport people. Uh, we let the captain see if he wants to stay on, gets his crew, or we can find new crews. But long term, we can make a lot of money off of it. I'll toss my ball into the boat. Guys, no matter what, Guy is voting for the magic carpet. Guy is voting for the magic <laughs> carpet no matter what. Yeah, All right, but, like, it doesn't <laughs> care. So just no one's going to get their feelings hurt. All right, man. No, no, no. You but got the final vote. voting the magic carpet. Fuck. And plus, <laughs> that way, we have guaranteed travel wherever we go with the magic carpet. I love it. It's in the air. Weiss is internally yes. freaking out about this crew unionizing right now. <laughs> Look, I have, worked the God, I have worked the guys. Work I'm going to make sure that those kids are taken care of. Guy's argument is just, guys, it's a flying carpet. I right, but you got to think long term. It's kind of like the, I will say the flying. Cool. I will say the flying carpet's faster out of combat than it is in combat. But it's still slower than the boat. It can just go and anywhere. The the boat doesn't have to stay at the dock at home. It can dock anywhere if we find, you know. Yeah, but the magic card can be used anywhere. That's magic card can, can be anything. Be anything. Desert. It could be even be a magic card. <laughs> it can even be a boat. <laughs> <laughs> you know we always wanted one of those. <laughs> you know we always wanted one of those. <laughs> you know we fish up a bag of holding out of the water. Who's to say there's not something crazy there? It's a mystery bag. Wait, 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 wait. Another boat? No, I'm kidding. Inside is a paper boat. It's a folding boat. boat, there we go. Oh, hell yeah, the, the folding boat. <laughs> Bring it back. I gave y'all a folding boat, and y'all never got a chance to use it. I, I know, right? About that. I am still to this day. I even so gave y'all a chance, and y'all did not take it at all. I know. I think we forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Probably forgot about it. It just sat in my inventory. Some things just sit in the inventory too long. I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and after I realized it, I really tried to look for which you said, and I just you forgot fumbled, again. You, you fumbled across a pu puddle. Perfect. I fought the boat. Slap <laughs> it down. All right, uh, so, yeah. Manic. Uh, I'm, uh, it, it relies to Manic, so Shannon just got him. I gotta give him that dumb smile. He's like, "Follow your heart, brother." Guys, like, I'm looking for magic carpet. Magic carpet. Guys, just like carpet, carpet, carpet. Plus, carpet, we have carpet. a reliable way of reaching it. If there is ever ill seas, I'd rather a trained group of people be able to take care of that. How, how hard is it for us the actual transportation if we do not take the boat? If you do not take the boat, trying to find passage by boat. Uh, it's gonna be expensive. But if we have a carpet, we don't need like, to. How, how expensive? Like, if Dude, you're I don't to... spend, it's, it's gonna take us like a, a week or a mo, or like a week and a half just for us to cross. 
Can on the carpet. The yeah, it's lower than the boat will take would take about three days. Magic carpet would take about four or five. And plus, that's just us going over water. And we need nine Guys, rations. Guys, there's these monsters. The, the, what? The, the there's no height limit on the, the flying carpet though. No, that's true. We can easily sure. just like fly like eighty feet in there. What? The, we gotta. When do we reach Guys. the cloud area? Above game, all of Shin's arguments are pushing me towards carpet, not away from it. Like, we have to man a crew. Like, they pay for themselves. They keep and just give us a little kickback. Who's to say they would. Are you sure about that, though? No. Uh, Tarash is going to go. I can vouch for the crew. They are honorable men, unless you don't pay them. And we're saying, wait, we have to pay them? Well, no, what I'm saying is, you know, have a home base for them at the dock. I know a guy who can take care of them there as long as that's their home port. They I'm just scared we take the, the carpet, carpet and it gets destroyed in combat. One one stray firebolt and that thing is gone. Also, okay. it's, a little more, it's a little more more durable than that. Oh, okay, two fireballs and yeah. <laughs> But it's at least reduced okay. in size if we do put out a fire in the Oh, like, hold on a second. Let's let's have some logistic conversations about the carpet, right? Guys, mm -hmm. kidding about riding the carpet around in combat, blowing people up. That's that was a joke. In real in realism, right? Would we that be is having good... to carry this carpet around with us everywhere that we're walking, or could we, we got a bag of holding. put it in a bag of holding? Yes, you can put it in so a bag of holding. We yeah, bag we got a bag of holding. So really, Plus, if we're only using it during combat, we would have to worry about it burning. Correct. That and we don't have to worry about getting sand scooters anymore. Also true. That, that is also so true. So it's, it's two fronts. Uh, what is the weight limit on the magic carpet? 1,500 pounds. Question. So the we could, and we probably wouldn't be able to burn a fire up there, but we could bring like a keg or some food with us, or we could like drop down, pick things up, or like have our beds and stuff. Oh, yeah, for rations and water skins, and we'd all be able to put out a... Well, hang on. We could always use it as a quick getaway if we needed to fly away somewhere safe. We need to sleep, me and Manic foot to foot, and then you and twice. Could we? Foot. Yeah, we could. Pick. Could we take rest on the carpet? Yes. Well, one person I mean, would have to be awake. Yeah, but they'd be on watch. We can take turns. Yeah. As we always do. And just for logistics, I'll draw the carpet again. Yeah, I mean, uh, for real, guys. It either one. I'll, for me, this is just an aesthetic choice. In my You're opinion, whether we want to ride on a carpet <laughs> or on a boat for the campaign, Shin is I don't just really think it matters. Passive income and the fact that he was raised in a fishing town and uh, wants to have a boat. Fuck. Um. Medic above I'm going to have to be over the carpet. Either way. Carpet? I'm going to have to carpet. carpet. All right. Dad jumps up and down with joy. As you all watch Manic put his coin on the carpet side. That and Ish kind of got fucked up in the thing. We owe him something. That's true. Uh, <laughs> he got fucked up wait. in the tournament. Tarash turns, nods wow. at D1. You see D1 pull out a bag. He throws it on the ground in front of you, Shen. <laughs> Shen. It appears to be a bag of holding. Uh, do we get the bag of holding as well? Yeah, you can have the bag of holding. I mean, it's where the carpet's stored. Oh! Please don't pull it out in here. No, that's fine. I'm just saying that's a second bag of holes. Which means thank that you, we can you, make a you. black hole. Yeah, we can. I mean, we, we could have done that already. Off. I have a handy haversack. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Shin puts all three of them into each other. Please don't. Uh, <laughs> you can't. But yeah, when you put one to the other, it would... <laughs> I shoved two in at the same time. I'll no, do yeah. it! <laughs> Alright, but do you have both uh, bag of holding, Shin? Nope. Uh, Shin stands up, gives a very deep bow to D1, uh, picks up the bag of holding containing the carpet, walks over and hands it to Gaijin. Guy right, uh, is just like freaking the fuck out. Uh, add, and, add a bag of holding and a magic carpet to your inventory. I'll have to make a custom magic, magic carpet because honestly, I didn't think y'all would take it. <laughs> so I didn't make the, this one cool. an item fair, yet. When I was going into this, I was thinking about the boat. I was thinking for the boat, but to be fair, Versatility, versatility kind of out, outweighed it. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, there were. I thought this would be a hard choice for y'all. That's why I did it. It, it. To be fair, it is a hard choice. To me, it's a hard choice because the boat has like storage and shit that we can right. do, like the passive thing that uh, that Shin was talking about. The versatility then, of just being able to use the I'm, magic carpet. Yeah, we don't have to worry about yeah. the sand skitters anymore. Any but harsh terrain, saying, we can just fly over. Whenever we're flying over it, when we get attacked by gigantic eagles or get eaten by a sea dragon, <laughs> that could I mean, still have happened in one of the two locations if we had a boat. Sam, if we had the boat and no, we had a sea dragon, I don't think we're going to make it out alive, my guy. We need a bigger boat. And then, and then a sea... What was it? A sea turtle? Dragon turtle. There we go. Alright, but yeah... Tarkus also hands y'all the quest, and him and the guildmaster will be like, well, we'll take our leave. You guys, try not to get in too much trouble. We'll try! I'm just waving. Alright, they leave. Uh, who has the contract? Whoever wants it. It's in all of your inventories if anyone wants to read it. Uh, I guess I will. Alright. <clears throat> Whoop the Raven. Contractor? Pitkin Starville. Did I, did I say it right? Yes. Okay. Location? Your point. Your, Your point. point. Jesus Christ, me. We've yeah. said it like three, th 300 times already. Uh, time limit? Oh, Natili. Time limit? Two weeks. Uh, reward? 1,000 gold. Description? Extermination. Recently, a Nevermore and its flock have settled within the deep woods surrounding the ancient tower of Natili. They have been peri periodically attacking and need to be routed. Man, a few words. So what you time is it real quick? Uh, after all that debating and everything, getting over here, probably about 6, 6.30. So th it starts today. 6 p.m. or... Well, yeah, 6 p.m. So mm -hmm. actually, the, it starts tomorrow, right? It starts at midnight. It starts at midnight. So yeah, it starts tomorrow. Yep. Starts at midnight, 14 days from now. Yeah, we got a day to blow. Yep, shops will be open. Shops pretty much stay open in ours all. I guess y'all y'all can just get on the carpet and go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to stay in the inn. Though inns do give inspiration, which, oh yeah, just above game. Uh, that's going to be the main reason to stay at an inn versus just being on the carpet. Because the inns give inspirations and stuff. That is true. Um... Oh. Fun question here. If we're all standing on the carpet, who commands it where to go? Whoever activated it. Okay. A uh, question. If dead person activated it, goes to sleep. Does it just like... It can starts it be traded to, over to the person? It starts to descend and someone else needs to activate it. Is there like a word or do we just... It's yeah, just it, has a, it has a word. It's like a Tears of the Kingdom flying machine, right? You turn it off. Yeah, it just starts, it starts fall, beep, beep, and beep, on. beep, and someone else can just be like, da-da, and it'll just resume. And it doesn't just, like, stop and start falling. Okay, because uh, I didn't want to be like, I, like, <laughs> I'm going to bed, good night, and just falls asleep, and all of a sudden we just pre-fall. <laughs> no. There, there's... Is Shin will ask D1 what the activation word is? Uh, hold on. I have something for this. Can we create our own? I, I imagine no, Tarak walks over and whispers something into his ear. It's yeah. the entire B-movie script. Oh god. Yes. <laughs> That's the activation phrase. Um, no. Uh... You like jazz? It's B but deep fried. <laughs> Trash says tell him seek the B. Hmm. Oh, speaking of, uh, I want to ask Trash something. Hmm. Yes. Uh, when we're in- I don't know if I said this before or not. Uh, when we're in the tomb, we found a bean. Do you have anything, uh, I wish we had it, but I had to use in a fight. Oh, it had some crazy effects. Uh, do I know what haste is? Yes. Uh, it gave me like- it, it healed me and gave me a haste effect. Hmm. Do you have any idea what it was? Sounds like some of our old beans, me. I guess Chris stowed some away. I miss those things. So you mean there's no more? Not that I'm aware of. Maybe someone someone out there has them, but I haven't seen any in a long time. We used to ha grow some, but uh, the guy that did that kind of passed, and yeah, it didn't, didn't work out so well. Um, 
Would I know anything about seeking the bean from the book? Yes, you would know the phrase. Um, can I ask Tarash what seek the bean means? A thousand mm -hmm. yards do. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of looks at you and is like, where do you know that phrase? Uh, I pull out all three volumes of... No, you don't have two, I have Amber. one. Oh. I, have, I have two. I have book two. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out volumes one and two and Manic shakes his in the back. Uh, he goes, ah, and just sort of laughs. He's like, I don't know, so I have no idea. Inside check. <laughs> yeah, inside check that. Alright, uh, but uh, the activation phrase for the carpet is Zephyr. Zephyr. It's my Baldur's Gate name. Yep. You feel like he's telling the truth. Isn't that right? Wouldn't that be right, Sam? Yeah, I believe I was outside when that happened. He doesn't know the whole scene. Well, like, I mean, he's only heard Carjelly say it. He probably has no idea what it means. Yeah, when I walked inside, Carjelly had already converted that guy. And then he just kind of played it because, you know, Carjelly was his best friend, so he just played it. Hey, Mr. Sam. How dare you beat AFP? I mean, <laughs> No, Carly was the best really... friend. Carly was one of his best friends. I think honestly, Kudu was probably his best friend. Did we ever actually know what it like? Did we ever actually understand it? Mm -hmm. Even the people who were there. I don't, I don't think Arson cared. Trash wasn't around for its inception and never bothered to question it. Frenzy definitely didn't care, and Kanuna, no one fucking knows where he is. No telling. Would Kanuna have known? everything. Um, I think at one point you probably would have asked Card Jelly. Like right, after the uh, then Kanuna might know. Kanuna might know what seek the bean means. You, you probably would have asked after the uh, the Ten Wise Men debacle. What does that even mean? Um, the guy has a question. Yes. B one, have you been with Tarash ever since the end of? the story or did you ever go off and do your own thing or go off with any other of your party members uh well i became guild master of uh well the headmaster of the uh, academy still am i'm just ah. on a sabbatical right now humble beginnings and Teresa, he just cool. kind of pipes up he's like he's gone too much Like, gone from you, or like, he's here too much, away from the academy? He's gone from me too much. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, that makes sense, Trish. He's all I got! <laughs> no, I'm so oh, right now, that is exactly what Trash is. <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> By the way, I am so sorry if we have already asked this. Actually, above game, have we brought up Georgia to Tarash since we got back from our mission? No. No. Because okay. I don't really find her name. I don't think we had a reason to. Wait, it wasn't Georgia. No, I retconned her it, name. Yeah, you said, instead of saying Georgia, it's like her. You yeah. said her instead. Yeah, and y'all don't know Georgia's name. Oh, just so know that we don't drow. know if it was Georgia. Okay. Yeah, we we wouldn't have had a reason to bring her up. But you can ask about the uh, about her though. Yeah. So, yeah a drow okay. woman was mentioned. Just yeah, I just wanted to get the context of where we were before I asked. Wait, where'd um, Cole go? You guys can step up and say. Oh, I thought hey, you said. Uh, well, he was free to leave, so he left. When did I move him? Honestly, I kind of <laughs> thought that happened too. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was just. <laughs> That's why I didn't I'm question it. <laughs> don't remember moving him, but... Um, okay, so yeah, w with Cole in the room, guys will be like, Oh yeah, guy had one more question. Um, to Ration D1, do you know anything about this drow woman that gave the blade to Cole? Do you know who she is or where she came from or what she wants? Tarash kind of looks around. Uh... It's like, we have suspicions, but we're not sh we can't, we can't say for sure. Oh, okay. Is she a danger? Probably not. 
What should we do if we encounter her? This seems like a very mysterious character. Uh, don't... If it's who I believe it is, don't make her mad. Don't piss her off, got it? That's gonna be so hard. We're so annoying. Yeah, we are gonna piss her off. I mean, she didn't kill Car Jelly. That's Everyone true, loves she's never met no shit. Need Yeah, to but he's a little bit idiot. No need to worry. She'll love Guy. Was just curious. Thank you for your information. Uh, yeah, she's she's pretty selfish. I'll say that. Five gold. He turned. The guy gets turned into a frog. Uh, she wasn't so bad for a little while, but after fans, any and it might not be her though. It might be. I mean, there's plenty of drow. There's plenty of white-haired drow out there. Yeah, but it's too much of a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, not many people would have access to the knowledge, but nothing's perfect in the world of magic. Someone could have just heard about the artifact, some weird chain of information. Yeah, Our fuck, in Car Jelly might have just been telling people. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, but it's... I'm not going to push the issue any further. Just imagine Car Jelly out there is like, so you guys want to know about some artifacts? <laughs> He's like that guy with the other uh, dude talking to that chick, he's, <laughs> chick where he's wearing the sunglasses. So, you want to hear about these artifacts, dude? <laughs> he's really just sending people to go die in a treasure <laughs> hunt. He, he wants them to take the artifacts so he has a better fight later. Mm. Seek the bean, my friends. Seek the bean. And that is what the seek the bean means. Uh, <laughs> anyway. he's He's been planning it for 150 sessions now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, trash goes. So, my turn of the bargain. I gave you the carpet, but I also owe you some information, correct? Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about that. So, where are you are going? This ancient tower of Natalia. It's not so ancient. Just you short lived races don't tend to remember things very long. Uh, the tower itself, well, let me rephrase, the tower itself is pretty ancient. Uh, but, how familiar are you all with the phenomena around it? And y'all can roll history checks, unless anyone actually remembers from the last time I told you. I'm gonna roll because my memory is shit. As Thank is, you for be making me accurate. <laughs> as is Mannix. Why'd you roll a disadvantage? God. A oh, because God doesn't know anything. Hmm. That's true. Twice, Shin. Hang on. Let him cook. Pouring through my notes. Okay, um... It is a quote-unquote cursed tower near the circle where the druids came from before they went to the world tree. I just imagine Shin pulling out like a notebook. She's like, wait a minute, I wrote this down. I remember some things, sometimes. Put, puts on glasses, puts on a little notebook. Yeah, books are just, through. Uh, the, the thing that he told us was, congratulations, but I couldn't expect any of those from our progeny. Certain projects starting to fail, contingency all failing. I should definitely to ensure things that I was working on continue. I had a research station. Okay, I had a research station set up. He's holding a map in an island in the Tealy in quote unquote cursed tower. It's near the circle where the druids came from before they went to the world tree. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you more than that. So that's what Chris told us about the tower. Correct. Um, and Trash is just going to kind of look at Cole and be like, Cole, would you mind excusing us for a bit? Cole just kind of looks around and is like, oh, uh, sure, I guess. Just kind of walks out. Now I can do it. That's why I was wondering why I got rid of him. <laughs> anyway. And Trash goes, okay. So. I have lied to you all a bit. She kind of like does like the very shocked hand. You're not actually an elf. What? I knew it. I don't believe it. Wait, are you a slime reincarnated in this world? Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he goes... <laughs> We do actually have some information about what Chris's final experiment was. 
not much, not much. I can't tell you too much. Uh, Chris, in the later years, kind of got a little secretive, but the distance was also a problem. It wasn't 100% his fault. He was just so focused into his work. Uh, all we do know for sure is that it has to do with Kanuna. With Kanuna? Yes. Does it have anything to do with this brooch? Kind of looks at it. The guy pulls out the brooch. No idea what that is. Uh, question. Yes. If we find anything about the tower, uh, should we go back and report to you? Yes. I, I... Um, you seemed a little secretive earlier. Are we not supposed to tell our headmasters and guildmaster? Our hunts uh, sorry. Not necessarily. I just didn't know how it would affect you all, so I wasn't going to openly give anything. Oh, thank uh, you. He, he wasn't going to try to try, actively try to hide our, our situation. Okay, I'm just making sure if I was a little confused as to everything that was happening there. I mean, to be fair, it's our, our, it's our own fault. We didn't check in beforehand. I mean, yeah, but we're just supposed to take contracts. Ah, I think I thumbs up his hands. Yeah, yeah, but th to be fair, we forgot how the how the rules work for hunters. Yeah, I completely forgot we couldn't go off continent. <laughs> off mainland. I mean, we could accept... Oh, never mind. This is not the this is not the time to talk about this. Yeah, right sorry. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Trash is just watching you all. For it's like, but unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know how you're supposed to unlock, stop the whirlpool that's surrounding it. How you're supposed to get into the tower. Unfortunately, we have no idea. Uh, we can say that located within the deep woods, there is some sort of small building on the north eastern side of the of the lake. Uh, <clears throat> but beyond that, we have no idea. And you will know it when you see it. It's easy to miss, but once you see it, you'll know that's it. Um, there's teleport rooms and shit that we know of, right? Yeah, teleport rooms exist. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be like a teleport thing that guy can probably activate. Mm, that doesn't or sound like Chris. Will... That doesn't sound like Chris's style. Not the teleporter, anyway. Uh, or maybe like since if guy gets close to it, the, the whirlpools and shit cease. That does sound like him. It's very extravagant. So, is there anything like I know that we have these books about all of you guys, and they were wait oh yeah, above game. The, the, the books were written by Chris, right? Yes. Yes. So the details okay. aren't all there, and some of the stuff is a little exaggerated on Chris's behalf. Like, I bet the entire thing about us being in, um, trapped in, um, damn, what, what was it? Tartarus. Tartarus, yeah, I bet that's all wrong and stuff. But yeah. what, what I was going to ask, all right, so back in character. Um, I know Chris wrote these books about y'all, but... Is there any, I mean, he seems like he was kind of like a famous or an infamous type scholar as it is. Are there any other books about him specifically that we could read? No, oh, he has hundreds of biographies. Are they all autobiographies? No, no. Uh, several of them are, yes, but... <laughs> no, there's Which plenty of... Been... Is... Hmm? Do you have any recommendations? I would like to pick up one to learn more about my ancestry. Especially because I didn't know where I was from before this. He laughs. He's like, honestly, I couldn't recommend any of them. Tales of Amber would be the best source. Those are the most sincere words Chris ever put to paper. And as for his non-autobiography biographies, uh, they all, they couldn't see the man himself. They always just looked at his as like the things he built or the things he did. They, they never got a good picture of the man himself. He was, he was an interesting character, though. Shame he was mostly on his accompl accomplishments. Yeah. Than actually him himself. Yeah. And, uh... Shame you humans don't live very long. You know, when all of this is over, I know we're really busy right now, but if you don't mind, I would love to come hear a story about him sometime. <laughs> Trash just gets, like, a huge grin. Is like, I, I have a couple. He gave Carjelly a bomb once. 
The what? That's so irresponsible. You gave him a bomb. Uh, twice you would twice in medic you wouldn't both know this because this would have been in the first book. Um, <laughs> you remember him giving the bomb. Uh, Chris was not there for the detonation though, so he doesn't know what happened there. Uh, but Trash goes on to tell you about when he used the bomb. It was like, yeah, he dropped. Y'all were in a. They were in a. We were in an airship fight, and uh, he jumped to another airship, dropped the bomb, jumped back, bomb detonated, and just like took out half the ship, man. And this was a huge one. Well, huge for the time. Maybe not so huge nowadays, but we had some really good combos back in the day, twice. It's true, we did. Everyone go watch Foss. Also, yeah. one of the uh, quotes we still have is, you probably shouldn't have given that bomb. <laughs> hey, we can't. The first campaign's gone. Yeah, first campaign's gone. That's true. Leave a comment if you want to know the entirety of the war. Mainly due to a lot of changing... Uh, quality issues and it annoyed the shit out of me. But, and we kind of started like a fourth into the campaign. Yeah, that too. Anyway. Well, uploading videos anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I know. Uh, mainly just want y'all to report back with what you know. I have no, this is no official thing, but you know, scratch my back, scratch your back kind of deal. But if you do this for me, I, I do have a uh, he kind of looks at D1, who kind of cocks his head. He's like, I do have a gift idea for you. Maybe ask what it is. Nah, that's not fun. Don't ask what a present is. And get the big smile. Trash like that guy gets it. Pat, you know my name. I know all your names. I feel really special. But hey guys, we have a magic carpet. Can we go fly it? <laughs> yeah, yes, we got you know all of his names. I pointed to uh, twice. Right. Yes. But And you, as you say that, do you want like you see him reaching to his jack his uh coat and yeah. he pulls he pulls out like a massive file and puts it on the desk. It's like don't underestimate our information network. Just gives a hearty. Is that just on him? Yes. And this is just what I found out in the last like three days. Well, that's not true. Y'all are gone longer than that. Yeah, about about two weeks. That's what I found in the last two weeks. Do you want? How smart are you? Yes. Mm. It's sharks. Uh. I used to be smarter. Till I blew up. What? Yeah, I blew up once. That's so cool. You see Tarash just kind of thousand yard stare. It was not cool. <laughs> it was not cool at hey, all. Hey, hey, that, did, he, did he have more intelligence before, yes. he, before he changed? Before he got remodeled, yes. Tarash having flashbacks to punching the fucking... He's still back circle. <laughs> yeah, he's still super smart, but he used to have like 19 intelligence. But after his remodel, he only he was down to uh, 16. He's still smart. He's just not as smart. Now he could punch harder. Yes. Now he's got actual like other like more spread stats. What, was he still wearing uh, the coat? Yes. The duster. Yes. He is still nice. wearing the duster. Amazing. Still looks new because he does no mending. Aww. Oh, well, he saved both D1 and the Duster. Well, what's left of it looks new. Let me rephrase. <laughs> the Duster blew off in the explosion. <laughs> it, it got ripped. Like that's, It's about half the Duster. So it's kind of like a short Duster, but it's like ripped. But where it's not ripped looks new. That's honestly even cooler. <laughs> Also, D1 stands like the power stance. Hell yes. Mm. Uh, none, actually, I guess Manic 
twice you can roll about and see if you've had any any real interactions with black mage or any dolls mage dolls at all uh manic you can roll an advantage they're a little more common in the cinder isles history what i've been saying what are we rolling seven and eight it's in that 20. all right oh there we go <laughs> You have had several interactions with them, and you can tell that new one's different. Of there's, course, there's... It looks more human-like, right? Well, it's not just that. Uh, it's he's he's built different. Well, he's like made of like an actual, an actual alloy than the actual mages, right? Are the mages still the co uh, the cotton? They're a different kind of cloth now. Uh, but yeah, they're still cloth based though. Yeah, you can tell they're cloth based. D one is also cloth based still. Oh, I thought but, it was, uh, like... Nope, he still got remade. Like Kinda, it's kind of like a mix between the two. He has a skeleton. Ah, okay. That is somehow horrifying. That sounds like a threat. He has a skeleton. <laughs> I mean, so do you. <laughs> he's kind of like a Terminator wearing a black mage suit. I'll say that. That is amazing. That's terrifying. <laughs> yes. But he looks, he looks built different if you want to ask him anything about that. Um, you look different than the other black mages that I've come across. <laughs> uh, Trash goes, he's built different. Uh, D1 just kind of goes, I blew myself up and was reconstituted in a joint effort uh, between Chris and Fiorja. So I got a little bit of uh, Chris's handiwork in me. Oh lord, I wonder Pretty how many much. people have said that. Too many to count. Going off the books, yeah, a lot. So does guy. What? Alright. <laughs> right. Tarash, I mean not Tarash, D1's just like, oh god, it's genetic. <laughs> Did you have any doubt? I don't, I don't think I got his. I don't know. Guy's not very smart. Dude, you pulled two. Bruh. Three. <laughs> Shin puts a hand on his shoulder and he's like, dude, you're really smart. Come on now. D1 just kind of shakes and says, anyway, I'll, I assume you guys are going to leave. Assume you got shopping to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah sir, we got a carpet to fly. Are you yep. kicking us out? No, no. He's like, kidding, as he's like pushing you out. Man. As he's like pushing y'all out, he's like, no, 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 no. I mean, you don't have to push me. I'm, I'm actively just, just walking out. Bye. Bye. I'll good luck. The magic carpet. Please it's don't bazooka, die. Right? It's Zephyr. Did you say Bazinga? Thank you. He did say Bazinga. <laughs> he did. Say, I don't know where he got that from. Anyway, uh, Big Bang Theory, but like, I don't know where he pulled Bazinga perfect. out. Honestly, a, I, I didn't mean to pull it out from there. I just pulled out something with a Z. First thing that came to mind. <laughs> the Z makes it sound cool. Okay, so y'all go outside. I assume you just start flying the carpet. Gaijin. Like you go outside yeah. and you just throw it out. And it's like, Zephyr, whee! And we'll never see him again. No, I, I waited for everyone else to get on. Oh yeah, Shen jumped on. And then I asked twice to morph into a girl. I oblige. This can only end well. <laughs> now I'm confused, but okay. Man, you always join them? To do this. Are you joining Manic? Uh, why? I'm confused by the. Uh, <laughs> are we? Are we allowed to? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. Fuck it. So you're all on the carpet. What are you, what are you doing, Gaiden? Guy's gonna do the Aladdin routine really quick. Roll a performance. Can I join? Because right. I'm playing Jasmine. Roll a deception. Roll, roll a performance. <laughs> <laughs> we know hey, your yo. heart's not in it twice. <laughs> you feel like Gaiden's giving it his all, but you feel like twice is just like leaving it all out there. He's like way too good at this. Like he is way too committed to this stupid role that he's doing. 
I lean garbage. down and I whisper to Medic, I don't think this is his first time. I think he's seen a whole <laughs> Don't, don't, don't put that in my head. <laughs> Alright, we don't have to derail much further. I'm just, I really meant that we're just riding around looking at the sights and enjoying a magic carpet ride. That's fine. In the but... most uh, hey, that's... non, in the most, like, platonic way possible. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> we bit a homo. No. No just more. A little bit. Just a little bit. Like a pinky toe. Just dip the toe. <laughs> They're four and a half feet apart in the hot tub. Hold <laughs> <laughs> up, sign too lewd. <laughs> I feel like Manic and Shen are just making the, these comments as y'all are riding around. We are the peanut. We're, 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 the two old guy, we're the two old guys in the Muppets cart. Uh, <laughs> 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 Anyway, where y'all want to shop first? Uh, I want to try to get a dragon hat, a dragon hide belt, because I All can't right. get the other item because it's too expensive. All right, dragon hide belt. So magic items oh, first. Oh, magic items. Um, I want to get four regular potions and one greater, and that's right. probably it for me. That's probably also magic items. Mm-hmm. Unless they have an apothecary. Well, they do, but you can also get potions at magic shop. I like healing potions with like a general goods item. Alright, so dragon hide belt plus one. That will be 750 gold. Alright, cool. Uh, and you said one greater, four regular? Yes. Remember, we still also have supreme, uh, superb. Alright, let me pull up the chart for the Manic, you've helped me so much. Do you need any offset to that cost? Or? Nope, I'm good. Okay. You see Manic just holding out his prize money. I'm good. We'll always offer that. I also... I, I haven't even dipped into platinum. I also showed Lindsay how much money Manic has. She's like, Jesus Manic Christ. Manic is fucking loaded. <laughs> just be glad Manic I don't make y'all have encumbrance for money. Good. I know. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Greater one, regular four... So I'll cut you a deal. 300 gold. Deal. Good deal. Alright. Is it shop? Shops. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to toss over 30 platinum. Ooh, we just had uh, rinks it up. It's the same oh, It's the same gnome from last time, too. He's like, ooh. While we were at the uh, magic shop for uh, Manic's belt, I wanted to ask if they had just a belt of giant strength. Uh, Any of them? Yeah, what is the blue one? Is that hilt? Hill giant strength. Uh, is no, it hill giant? Uh, yeah, it's hill giant strength. Yeah. No, built. No, that's that's a potion. Oh, is it, is it just belt of giant? Strength? No. Okay. There's belt. It's belt of giant strength, but it comes in the varieties: hill giant, stone or frost giant, fire giant, cloud giant, storm giant. Yeah, hill giant was the lowest one, right? Yes. Yes. And that just sets it at flat twenty. Twenty-one. 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 Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me see if he's got it. Alright, he does have it. How much would that be? It is a wondrous item. I know oh, it's a lot, but I'm... Yeah, it's going to be a lot, lot. It's going to be about 6,000. Alright, I don't have that. Bad. Oh, how much is a clock of displacement? Sorry guys, just skip ahead like a couple of hours. Or if I get done with the shopping. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, that's gonna run you about 15,000 for the cloak of displacement. Yeah, that's the one I, didn't, I couldn't get. It's super expensive. Um, what about an amulet of health? Alright. I think I've only got one more after this. Uh, 6,000 for the Amulet of Health as well. Right, 
and then the other one's gonna be some half plate armor. But you have to go somewhere else for that. But for a price price check. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. It is in D and D Beyond. Well, if he has the Hill Giant, he definitely has this. Uh, yeah, four thousand. Four thousand. Still not, but much more doable. Good to know. Thank you. How much would you need for that? A lot. Three thousand. Yeah, more. a little more. Well, um, not actually, a little less. Uh, actually, I'm I'm running, I'm stupid. Uh, I, I did that almost two thousand. Mm. They require a two mid, which makes sense. Does the ring of spell sworn require a two mid? Ring of what? Spell store. Spell story. It does. Yeah, I would still need a lot. I've only got like 1190 gold. But that casts at the person who stored the spells, DC, or yours. Uh, what do you mean? So, like, if I stored it with a fireball, whose tech save would it go off of? It's, they make the save. It's whoever's called in it makes the save. But yeah, you, I know, it's, but you have to cast DC. a spell. You have to cast a spell into it, so it's your DC. But I could get Gaijin to cast a spell into it, could I not? No. Oh, it's just like an extra spell slot. Like an oh shit button, basically. Well, hold on. It's whatever spells put into it. The spell uses the slot spell save DC spell to blah, blah, of the original caster. So yeah, you can do that. Oh. Mm hmm. How long does the spell stay? The spell stay saved. One In, quick way back. Indefinitely until it's used. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. One, one, yeah, I got two things. One quick way back thing. I would have given uh, my mom her woolly pillow. Her woolly penguin pillow. Ah, uh, yeah. She is appreciative. Uh, yes, yes. And uh, two. When bargaining for the uh, Gauntlets of Ogre Power, would the uh, Baron's Trident have had any bearing no, on that? It's not magical. Damn it. Just a big, yeah. nasty thing. Which I'm sure, I'm sure if you ask your friends, y'all could probably come together with that. Yeah, but I'm like 800 gold off. I don't want to do that. I'm pretty sure if we can... S I can throw in a couple hundred. Guys, it would set my strength to 19, and I do have an open slot. I have one more question. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a... Bloom of, broom of flying. Ooh... I think it's a green man, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't mean anything. Mm. Okay, it's not that bad, a thousand. Well, hmm. That could fly around on. Oh wait, 15, 15, 1500. Sorry. That's fine. Aww. Another time. We'll keep that in mind. 
Um, Everybody yes. picked in 300. I'm, I could get the gauntlets, but I'm not going to ask you all to do that. You know, I, you guys helped me achieve my dreams. I am a shaman <laughs> on a flying carpet. I am willing to contribute to your success. Again, you wanted 300 gold? Uh, no, it would be 300 gold from everybody, but I don't, you guys don't have to do that. 300 gold each? Yeah, I, I need 900 to get it. I, I it. Personally, I cannot because I have to buy one thing, but. Then that's fine. I'll give you something, you just tell me what. You guys all tell me what you want, I will give you something. I think Gaijin yeah, has a ton of money. Guy, if you want to spend 900 gold, I could set my strength to 19. But I'm not gonna, you know, make you or I'm just gonna do that. If you want to throw in 400, uh, 450, I can throw in 450. How many platinum is that? 45. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm. That was in game. I got you. Um, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I said it in game. Sorry. No, no yeah, the in game joke is that guy is another platinum conversion. So I have 42 platinum and 623 gold so i will i'm just gonna go ahead and dump out you said 450 gold that's what i would take out all right so yeah medic also take 450 uh, and shin drop 1100 and boom you got over over strength gloves but but when guy hands us he says someday guy's gonna want something because guy just doesn't know what he wants right now but maybe you help out guy then we helped you i get that carpet Oh yes, Absolutely. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just said we, we achieved your dreams, my guy. Right, twice. What did you want? Uh, I just want the plus one half plate. All right. Uh, I told you a thousand. I meant twelve hundred. Is that too high? What's up? If I traded my breastplate, how much is it? How much does the breastplate say? That's 400 on the side. But. All, right. All right, that'll bring it back to 900. That'll bring it down to 900 then. Okay. Um, right. Cool. All right, so y'all do that. Y'all take a quick break before we continue? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, by the way, I'm going to put something in here. Oh, I'll have to send you a message. Uh, the belt's not in d and No, it's not. It send, me not. A, send me a message. I'll... I'll, I'll I get it. If anyone needs rations or water skins, those are the prices. Left, uh, we already did the the gold thing. It's like 60-ish gold for what we need. Jesus, how much y'all buy? We need 40 water skins, my guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, none of y'all know create water or anything. Yeah, so we need the water to get there and back. It's, fi it's a five day tr travel. I think we overdid the water, to be honest. Oh uh, yeah, it's five gallons of water. We're fine. We're gonna be hydrated, my guy. Also hydrate. Oh, well, no one, no one, no one redeemed it. The hydrate? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, other news, I am going to redo my uh, intro, my channel intro on YouTube. Why did I close that and reopen it? What the fuck? I have to redo your dragon hide belt as well, because I just added one, and I just need to change it slightly. It does what we want, but it should be a green. There you go, that's hydrate. Got the water out. I came prepared. Oh, uh, I would like to buy some potion before we leave. What you looking for? Uh, what are you buying? Uh, two graders and a regular. Two graders and a regular. So that'll be three fifty. Three fifty. About three fifty. Can I do? Can I haggle for three forty? Says no, but for three fifty, I could. I could also give you a superb and a regular. Your call.
Make yeah, sure. I'll do that then. Alright. In fact, three, 325. Yeah, y'all have been spending money. Alright. I'll give you a little bit of a discount. Another potion of healing. Where are my potions at, to be honest with you? Anybody else need anything? I think I'm good. What would be the price of a plus two breastplate instead? Yes. Plus two breastplate over yeah. a plus one half plate? Plus, um, a plus two breastplate is going to run you about 2k. Versus the half plate, so 800 more gold. Mm -hmm. Did God get three greater feelings? Alright, since Manic didn't buy them, he has two left. Two, perfect. Alright, that's going to run you 300. If need be, uh, twice, I can throw in 200. I'm okay, I, I already bought mine. Here's, yeah, here's 30 platinum. And I plan on sharing them with whoever needs them. Well, I was wondering about the, the, the breastplate thing. Uh, no, I'm good. I mean, <laughs> I would need 800 more gold, I only have 100 left, so. Now he has disadvantage on dex, on stealth. Yeah, that's the only bad part, but I do have a familiar to stealth for me now. It's twice, it just puts on the armor in the in the shop, you just see him like twice putting on the... Yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. safe. safe. But I, want, I just wanted to get a nice little 10% decrease in chance to hit, or increase in decrease in chance to hit. Right on Shin now? Yep. He's yeah, but dropped. he... Yeah, he, he dropped. I'm checking uh, Facebook uh, just a message or something. Oh, his net does weird things sometimes. Yeah, Internet shit the bed, one sec. Alright, so, y'all wanna just head out then? Yeah. Cool, we'll bring, good to me. we'll bring you on the big map. All right, how's how, here's how we're gonna do long distance magic carpet travel. Since none of you have a map I have or a map. compass, maps you, have, you have a map. I mean, we have the maps in our journal. No, like, do your characters have maps? No. I guess it's a question for you. Are the maps in your journal? No, like, those are just for y'all. Map or are those ours? Those are ours. Okay, then yeah, we don't. Yeah, can we'll I do buy... it? Can I do like? Can I do an intelligence check to get these items? You can just do buy them. Do we have them. long rest? Uh, you can go ahead and long rest if you want. Uh, yeah, you can add. You probably have to add them as a custom item, but you can check for map and compass because it's mainly what you need. How much are they? An Emilith map will run you five gold, and a compass probably about five gold as well. I go like. We should role play this to where we just keep going, and then as soon as um, Sandbog gets back, it's like, "Hey, where are we going?" Oh shit, we don't have a map. <laughs> have to turn all the way back around. Wind up somewhere else. Yeah, that'll be great. City. Structure done clear. Ended up in Mordrick. I'm not sure which direction Mordrick is. Campaign from us. It's just you start on a big quest and then you accidentally get a bad map and you go the wrong way and you're trying to get back where you started so you could do the quest. I mean, that's kind of what happened to Zareth and Geyser. Yeah. Instructions are clear. I ended up in the Escar High <laughs> Tribe Lands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure which direction Wardrick is from Emilith. Is yeah. it one of the main. This is the main, one of the main, main items, uh, main cities. Uh, Wardrick is the continent from the first campaign. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
If I had to guess, probably southeast. I need to make a full world map. In my head, there's about five areas like Wardrick, Emilith, like three others out there in the world. Some of those are going to be touched in, in the mini campaigns after this one. But anyway. Manic, you got the items? Yeah, item now. Cool. So, y'all are free. Like I said, y'all are going to Yule Point, right? It'll take about five days to get there. Yep. Anything y'all want to do during those five days? What do you spell, Emilith? I. I'll put it in jet. I M A N I L T H. I'll put it in chat. Guys, just fucking loving this magic carpet. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. It's just right. Um, It'll be crash. <laughs> Manic and Shin are slightly uncomfortable. It's a little cold. Hmm. But yeah, no real problems. Y'all take watches. Y'all change. You know, just flying over the water. Uh, honestly, y'all don't get far enough away from the shore to ever not see land. As high as y'all are, I'm assuming, because I assume y'all like go in the airways. Yeah, I'm probably. We're probably actually just <clears throat> using the go uh, coast as a guide. All right. Uh, no one do anything specific for the five days. Uh, I'm probably uh, just gonna work on my uh, work on my performance. All right. I'm <laughs> probably gonna read the book when I'm not. Uh, actually, in yeah, I'll probably carpet. read volume three. Uh, I'm gonna say it might be a little hard to do that. Fair enough. Because there's wind. There's wind. Like, I feel like I would get car sick doing that. Or that would accidentally lose the book. It'd be like trying to read a book while you're sitting in the back of a truck. I don't know how often y'all have ever sat in the back of a truck. Uh, I grew up in a, a small old town. It sucked. Yeah, we're all very familiar. Especially in wintertime, it sucked. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Y'all go twice practices performance. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me like three performance checks. Let's see. Let's see what the party had to endure. So oh, no one told you life was gonna be this way. A good time for the most part. Then I got tired. <laughs> no, I take averages. So yeah, pretty, pretty, good, pretty solid performances. Y'all had, had theme music the whole time. Speaking of, this would be a good time to switch to... Y'all get to hear some Natili tunes. And it shouldn't have started with that one. It should be on random. It is on... Plays it again? <laughs> no, 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 I just started over. Uh, it is on loop, not shuffle. All right, anywhere in particular, I'll move the where y'all can see. I'll let y'all land. Where do y'all want to land? I want to make a big circle over the entire place. Like, you know, like 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 a video game level introduction where you're mm -hmm. like doing a whole pan around everything and then you circle straight down and you land in the middle so that at least everyone in town has seen us and imagine a perfect coming in. If that's All right. software presents. <laughs> uh, everyone roll me a perception. We're about, get, we're about to get fired out of the air. Perception. Perception. That's performance. <laughs> Wait, what? I should have rolled performance. <laughs> you know, just looking like, can't see nothing. Some guy just like, I can see some people. 
Uh, Shin rolled oh. actually fairly well, so Shin's just like, oh, there's a lot of people in the streets. People in the streets? As you're like flying yeah, around. Uh, your pa all, all your passive perceptions are high enough. Uh, it's a loud. Um, are high enough that you can hear the music. Like, it definitely sounds like some sort of celebration is going on. I dive bomb right to that place. It's all in the streets. I dive bomb the streets. <laughs> let's uh, let's not say bomb the streets. <laughs> Especially on on screen. No, we're 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 coming down in like a spiral. And we're yeah, slowly, yeah. like, as <laughs> we get to the bottom, was. we just straight up pop off, and then the magic carpet just goes straight into our magic, our bag right. holding. Yeah, some people are, like, definitely looking like, they see when you get about three passes from the ground. A lot of people are like, yeah, like, they're into it. Uh, oh. I'm going to start playing along to their music loudly. Roll a performance. Yeah, you get down, the carpet light comes in, and Twice just has his uh, guitar out and he's playing <laughs> along with the music. Seems like there's several different parades going on. Doesn't seem like there's like one, one uh, like, party. It's like a lot of little parties all kind of congregating. I'm going to uh, put my guitar on my back. Does anybody talk to me when we land? Uh... Are people like, hey, that was badass, guys. Kinda, yeah. All right, I'm gonna as, as we get off, you. guys, gonna be like, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's hysterical. They look a little confused, like, no, well, you're you're welcome. Welcome to your point. What's going on? Uh, we'll say the people here are do seem more clothed than the last place y'all, last place in Antilia y'all were in. Last place we left. <laughs> oh, it, so it could be good to assume that Reapers aren't coming here because the vibes are so good. Oh yeah, the vibes here are great. Like everyone seems like in a good mood. Uh, from uh, what y'all do know about Natili, uh, the vibes tend to be good. They tend to have a lot of parties. Okay. Um, so yeah, when we land, I'm gonna ask uh, the first person that says anything to us what's going on here mm -hmm. oh no it's just what do you mean just like a like a daily thing is this like every day here or is this welcoming party twice <laughs> um, they're here to say hi to guy <laughs> hold on hold on hold on Oh boy. It is. something for this and that you would ask such that specific of uh... above game I'm really just asking if this is like New Orleans where you can just have a parade any day of the week well that is but I'm trying to think of what the holiday would be given the time of year um Because I did write it down, but it's not in my current notes. I must have deleted my my notes. You know what? We're gonna call it Goodberry Day. I like that. And where can you find the Arch Druid on Goodberry Day? You see him point 
And like right down the street, you see a large furbolg man just just like getting down. Like he is, he is. He's like decked out. Like looks almost kind of like the forest pope dancing in the street. I dance my way towards him. Make another performance check. Oh, dude! Perfect time to do a conga line. Hmm. Anyone. Yep, you just you're making your way down the street, twice as boogie and uh, am I going east? Twice as slowly, is it? Are y'all doing either? Y'all just watching twice boogie. He's boogie woogie and <laughs> guess we follow, right? Yeah, you're just walking. Twice as a shit is looking down. <laughs> I will say they are more. They do seem more clothed than the clothed than the last place in Atelier you went. But there's there's still a lot of naked, uh, like half naked people. Some full naked I'm, too, but just less full naked people. I'm just going to shift here, my clothes to fit the crowd. Are you still? Are you in changing form or? Yeah, I am. In, well, I'm walking around in Finnick and J Ivory form. So just tall, hairy man, half naked now. Yeah, half naked. And uh, I don't think I don't know how often y'all have seen Finnegan like half naked, but like he's hairy. Shen can't see. He's looking down. He's like got a hand on Manic's shoulder. Are you doing anything as you approach the Archdruid, or? Uh, I'm just gonna get like right up next to him and just dance and be like, "Hey, we're here for the mission." He turns, looks, it's like, oh, what's up? What's up, man? I'm going to take an insight on this guy immediately to see if uh, we're going to be able to get anything done if we keep talking to him. <laughs> That's a big ask for someone you just <laughs> met somebody. I think I've probably been thinking about it for a while. <laughs> like, how chill is this guy? <laughs> Are we going to be? Because, like, I've, I grew up around chill people, you know, so I feel like I know... If this is just like some burnout who I'm going to be wasting time with for a week, or if I'm going to be able to get information out of them. I'll, I'll tell you what, roll me a history check. To be fair, he is asking the important questions. Fuck. Oh no. You don't know a goddamn thing. I love how that uh, stuck too. It just hit one instead. Just hit one. <laughs> it didn't roll at all, just it didn't roll yeah, at no. all. Just dropped it. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, well, we'll just, we'll just fast forward through that. <laughs> yeah, you look at him, you're just like, he, he looks, your passive perception side, he looks faded. Like, you're, you're not super familiar with furballs, but you're super familiar with faded. Yeah, I'm super familiar with people who can get things done while they're high, so that's, that's okay. <laughs> he also has, like, a tankard in one hand pipe in the other hand like he's he's getting down he hasn't quit dancing either he's like what's up uh, so yeah i'm still dancing uh so this mission the dealio mission uh i'm gonna flat do i have the contract i'll flash the contract uh no manic has the contract Fuck. you can you can flash a hunter badge though uh show i'm, yeah, I'm gonna show him my uh Shit. My hunter, hunter's badge and cow unit. Hunters? Oh shit, the hunters! <laughs> You're here, baby. And I keep. I'm. I'm still dancing. I'm going. Roll another performance yeah. check. Yeah. I'm just gonna follow him. Oh, he's still dancing in the street. Like, oh yeah, no. I'm just kind of gonna follow his vibes. Okay. Energy matching. Oh God damn. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, uh, you start dancing with him, and uh, you trip over your own foot. Roll me a deck save. All right, now make me another performance check. 
Uh, am I gonna do that move where like you fall behind your your knee and catch yourself with the other foot? All right. And lastly, make me just a flat out dex check. Oh wait, ac acrobatics. Looks well. Take that. Are you proficient in acrobatics? Um, let's see, my acrobatics is plus six. I am, yeah. So no, you just get jack of all trades. Um, so twenty-one. So what y'all see is twice is dancing, trips over his own foot, lands, does a spin, gets back up, all on beat. Was it a showstopper move? Oh yeah, people were like, oh. What about what about the uh, the arch druid? Is he... uh, we're about to see. He, he's about. He, he might have just entered a dance battle. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh yeah, and he just comes out. All right, yeah, he 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 starts breaking it down back at you. Hits you with a with a I forget the move. Right? Windmill. Oh. What? The, the, with the break dancer, like gets down, like spins her legs around. Oh that. He's doing this on dirt, like full robe, everything. And he's like a big dude. He's like seven and a half feet tall, like 350 pounds. He is a large man. Okay, I'm going to walk it out like DJ Unk. <laughs> For all performance. <laughs> he nat 20 to his roll. That's <laughs> why I did that. You success successfully walk it out. Yeah, this. <laughs> he rolled it. All right, yeah, no, this goes back and forth for a while. Y'all watching this, like, what are we watching? There's like a crowd gathered at this point. There's I'm chanting. <laughs> oh lord. So y'all watch for about 20, 30 minutes. There is no useful information exchanged. Yes, Chris Brown stomped the yard, but only the dance competition scene. All right, uh, roll performance. All right, you success. You, you perform successfully, and then he kind of looks at you, and he, he kind of like stops and like, ah, oh, damn, man, you're good. Thanks, man. I need a break. He, he just an entertainer by trade. He just Under downs the rest of the tankard. Ugh. This is impressive. Ah, uh, need another drink. At, by the time he says that, someone has already like put one in his face. Ah, oh, thanks. It'd be rude to hand him a water sack. He's like, oh, so, uh, he says, you're, you're the hunters, right? And he like looks he's like, oh, you look a little small. I can get big, and I transform into him. Huh. Neat. Pretty neat, right? I go back and defend. He's like, look what I can do. And he trans and he makes himself three feet taller. Oh, I was hoping he could turn himself into a bear. He's like nine <laughs> feet tall now, and you're like, holy shit. Ow. Can't go that big. I can make you bigger, though. I can make myself bigger. He, like, shrinks but back I can down. Make you bigger than that. <laughs> Oh, look what else I can do. And he transforms into a fucking polar bear. Like, oh, huge right. fucking animal in front of you now. Yeah, I would I would pull out an animal out of my bag of tricks, but I don't want to waste it. And also, I don't think that would impress him whatsoever. Also, he... he What's you know, the weather like right now? Uh... Overcast. But anyway... Uh, okay. You're not sure I was how, but pull out some crazy trick, but <laughs> there's nothing I can really do. Uh, the polar bear is. Uh, you're not sure how, but the polar bear even looks faded. Well, so, I'm gonna say, uh, do you want to keep enjoying your time, or do you want to do a little debrief on what we got going on here? He transforms back. Is like, ah, oh, man, you're gonna kill the vibe. Uh, I'm not trying to kill the vibe. With paperwork now, man. But I just think that if we don't get this done now, we're all going to have too much fun. So why don't we do business now, a pleasure, 20 minutes from now? Uh, and you see him turn. You see him make extra roll perception. All 
All right, you see him turn and make eye contact with a uh, half orc ma uh, man who starts walking over. He's like, "I'm gonna leave you guys to my assistant. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the party." Sounds good, friendo. I'm gonna uh, dap him up. I give him a little fist bump. It's like, yeah. When you come back, do come party with me, though. And you just see him like That's dance good. back into the crowd. And uh, coming up to you, complete change of demeanor. This half orc man looks tough. Like he looks like a hardened person. But he comes up, still has, but has a smile on his face. He's like, "Uh, uh yes, you are the hunters." Yes. Are you I think this is where we well? all we all walk up. Yes. Good. Good. Uh, apologies for the arch druid. He's uh, well, the people love him. We kind of figured it was going to be like this before coming here. He doesn't like to get serious, but every once in a while, uh, he, he's got he's scary when he does. But so we kind of we try to keep him, and then he just kind of looks over and he is getting down again. It's like not sure how a man that big dances that much. Got her jeans. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> on to business. As you saw in the request, there has been an Evermore that has... It hasn't attacked the village directly, it's more people that are outside the village. Uh, one good thing about all these parties is it does tend to keep the Reapers away. But yeah, we but... can't have a giant Nevermore taking on people that want to go for some rendezvous in the woods and be with nature. Oh, shit. It's true. Check that. Uh, Complain of your problem, we just need some info. Yeah, no, it's a points south. He's like, if you just follow, I'm sure you can follow the wooden, the warned path. There's an entrance to the deep woods. Uh, that's all we really know about it. Is it's coming from there. Uh, it does have some a flock with it, so do be careful. Uh, just one, never more itself, though. And how do you guys feel about fire? Please don't. I. Uh look over a guy exchanged no words it just looks I mean we know hunters can be extreme but please don't <laughs> yeah, it's just sometimes with these things we have to go full scorched earth but like we respect your stuff we wouldn't do that guy doesn't really know too many spells besides fireball I mean he does but they're not as good a lot of them depend on the weather it's just Everything but I'll try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all we really need. We know. That's all we can really tell you. Uh, do right. I have one more question? Yes. Will the forest here attack us if we use fire? It's done that before. The forest attack oh, yeah. you? No. It happened in Shorewood. Oh yeah. That one's weird. That one has it's a very uh, aggressive spirit. A mind of its own. Well, all forests have a mind of their own. Plus, there were some weird druids there. Were druids? Yeah, or at least just one of them. What do you mean? Bad dad. Hey. Weird looking guy. Oh, what? Which session was that? <laughs> Fuck if I know. I mean, you, you know, you know, druids wait, wait, wait. are kind of cuckoo <clears throat> anyway. Right? I am a druid. Oh. I'm a shaman. It was a dwarven man. Um. Name was Irish. Mm. Oh, Fro Frolis was his name. Frolis. A P H R O I L I S. Frolis. Frolis. His eyes were green too. I feel like I heard that name. Hmm. Couldn't tell you offhand, though. Bless well, the arch druid when he's not having fun. Might he turns. He looks like that's a hard ask. What a guy. Hmm. You say that, but uh, as his assistant, <sighs> means a lot of things fall on me. Arch Druid one day? Oh, I don't want to be Arch Druid. 
Doesn't sound like there's Why a lot not? of responsibilities. He turns and looks he's like, Do, would you want to follow in that those footsteps? Well, if I was doing what you were doing now, then I'd love to retire into that. <laughs> well, you have to have a certain, certain, you know... Skill set? Not necessarily skill set, but... Mm, a certain magnetism. Got it. Whatever it is, he's fucking got it. Exactly. I mean, he's been arch druid for over a hundred years. Okay. Oh. This might be a dumb question, but um, does the arch druid have to be a druid? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Wait, does that mean I can become an arch shaman? Arch shamans aren't a thing above game. Hi, shaman. Probably. No, I, I, I know. Guys, struggle oh, yeah. to understand what this is. Yeah, well, you, you've met I druids before, you. but you've never seen like this. <laughs> like, like organized druid. Yeah. Right. Like all of the druids we met have been kind of cuckoo. Oh, just legs. Yeah. So. Basically, you've told us all you can tell us. We just need to go through these double doors and go find the Nevermores. Yep. Well, no, one Nev Nevermore in this block. That is true. I mean, if there's more, please take them out too, but we believe it's only one. Oh, and do be careful, the little ones like to go for the eyes. Oh, those fuckers. Can I move my eyes around on my face? No. Alright, I think we're actually gonna call it here before y'all head out towards the forest. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if Shan's coming back or not. Yep, I intend to go a little later, but it's fine. Y'all have got the information you needed, and y'all can head out next session. We appreciate everyone for hanging out with us, and we're going to throw you on. Yep, we're going to throw a raid over to Ninja Rice Eater. We appreciate everyone for hanging out. Hopefully next... Uh, by the next session, I'll have the new YouTube thing, and I want to do an intro video for D&D. &D. I don't want to do it for every one of my streams, because I, I don't feel like I have, like, a good setup, like, for what we've done so far for that. But for D&D &D itself, I think I could do something. And that way, we could leave with that, and then jump into what happened last session, and then just jump into the session itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you all next time. I will be probably live tomorrow as well. Depends how things shake out, but probably playing Baldur's Gate. We'll see y'all next time. Oh. Bye guys. See you, chat. Throwing the raid. And.